Hello one, welcome to Create and Use Enumeration. Enums uh, is a short form for enumerated types. Uh, enum is a type of a class that mainly contains constants, list of values, and helper methods. So let's see. I have created uh, one small project in IntelliJ. And let's create an enum day. And I'm going to define constant values. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And if I would like to use enum, so this is the way to, to create a reference uh, variable of the enum and how to initialize it and it is a way to initialize so d contains uh, constant value of an enum tuesday it implicitly extends from abstract class java.lang.enum so whenever we create an enum, it implicitly extends from this class java.lang.enum. So each enum will have all of these methods and we will go over them. It is implicitly final that is, it cannot extend but implement interfaces. So whenever we create an enum, it will be final, automatically final. So we don't need to define here the final. We cannot extend the enum. If I'm trying to make a public Standard enum extends the so you can say that see that the compiler will give you an enum. You cannot extend enum. Now, if we have a interface like my interface, so we can implement interface. All right. All right. Next, it provides type safe checking. Invalid enum value introduce a compiler error. So if you would uh, try to uh, put a wrong, wrong value, so instead of runtime, it will give an error on the compile time. So this is uh, the, the best way of type checking. That program will not crash during the runtime. It will give an error during the compile time. So whenever we create an enum, compiler attach two methods. One is
values another one is value of so in, in the when we created an enum we have uh, a all the constants and we have values and values of these are the public static methods which the compiler attach these are not in the enum class and the rest of the, them these are in the enum class uh, there is another way also to create enum object d dot values of and if i type it here tuesday then d1 is also uh, give us the object of enum what would if i try to put uh, value of value of in the lower case so if i do this and run the program so there is a runtime exception no enum constant name tuesday so it is a runtime constant a runtime exception so make sure in the exam if the question comes like this and say if their option is compiler error due to the change of case so next we can use equal to sign to compare two enums it gives true we can also use equal methods just gives it true as well and if we would like to print um, in the enum, what it gets? Like if I say day, dot, Sunday, So this d dot Sunday it creates an this is an enum object inside the system dot out dot print Ellen, it will call the two string method uh, and uh, it will display the name of enum so we have the method system dot out dot and this uh, uh, two string d dot two string let's do it this way and d has a tuesday so this time it says sunday and tuesday sunday and tuesday all right so um, it provides a type safe checking invalid in a value introduce a compiler error. What it means? It means that uh, if you would like to assign a value like uh, other than enum object, it will give an error. So Mm 
let's go over here in the for loop in the in the dot values so i already have told you the values method will return all the enum values in the form of an array and uh, there is another method name and day dot ordinal so name uh, return the name so what is the difference between two string and name the output is same the name is a final method you cannot override it however two string is not you could override it that's the difference and day dot ordinal give the index position so let's start this one program one more time and see what is the output so you can see that sunday is zero index and saturday has a six all right um we can use uh, d dot d equals to d1 we can use the both enum values with the equal to operator what would if i use uh, enum value with the uh, equal to sign like day dot tuesday thursday equals to and thursday is four will it compile no it will not compile if i put the d here which is an enum value it will so you can see that if you try to use an invalid value an equal to operator it will give an error what about here if i try to put uh, uh, two so you can see that it says it's a type day and cannot be type int so it is a type safe so this is a type safe invalid in a value introduce a compiler error next values values are always declare first and with semicolon if there is anything beside values so the values which we have declared all the names of day should be first i would like to write anything before them the compiler will give me an error let's see i would like to write here int i equals to zero So compiler will give me an error. So if I would like to write anything after the enum values, I must have to use a semicolon. Now you can see that in enum, I use a semicolon or not, it is perfectly fine but if i try to put anything here like uh, private string temperature I declare one variable here so it, it gives me a, in a compiler error expected semicolon all right next is a non-final enum method can be overridden by any enum value. So what it means that? It means that if I type any method, public void print, Temperature, print temperature, uh, 
control P and I can write here temperature today is 65. So this method can be overridden and how we will see. We can define here all this method just next to the enum. And uh, on Sunday I put 20, no, mm, 75. All right. So here in enum, if I call d dot print temperatures, and d is a Tuesday. So it will give me a in a method value which is 65. If I say day dot Sunday dot print temperature, so it will give me 75. Let's see. See, 65 and 75. So this is, this method is on the, on the Sunday, it is overridden. However, the rest of uh, the days are using default method. Okay. Um, required to implement abstract method. Okay. For instance, if I have an abstract method, um, I would say this would be abstract method. Then each enum value needs to implement it. You can see that. All right. And uh, I can write here 55. So 65. 75, 85, 65, 75, 85. Okay. All right. Um, as I have uh, mentioned earlier, the compiler provide two public static methods, value of and values. The values of, of return the enum value. Uh, we put the name of, of uh, the same case and it returns the enum object. And values get an array of all values. Okay, we have seen the over uh, uh, writing method, uh, over, uh, overrided method, uh, a two string our names both give the names what's the difference name is a final method to a string is not if you want to override it you could equal to or equal to sign used to compare we have seen that ordinal give the index number clone clone is a final method and it guarantees that enums are never get cloned so 
next we come for to the constructor uh, in the Mars uh, same like as uh, the class have constructed they have a constructor as well uh, their constructors are implicitly private even you define it or not a SS modifier they are private so let's see that one if I write a constructor here D and uh, put here the string string let's put here temperature and I would say this dot temperature equals to temperature so the one uh, variable passing from the constructor I am passing to um, uh, I am assigning to the temperature variable of in now you can see that the compiler actually put uh, uh, a little bit of error here the reason why because we do not have a default constructor we have a constructor with a one parameter so here we need to so okay right 75 i say it's a high temperature 65 is uh, moderate 75 is again high 85 is high 65 is moderate 75 is high and again 70 you know high temperature all right so now you can see that so this is modifier of a constructor is private there's no default uh, or private package either you define it or not so like an interfaces we have everything public in enum is a private the reason why because we need to make a immutable um, class and um, we do not want anyone extended or uh, we do not need any more object only one single object that's why it's follow the singleton structure uh, about the e constructor called once in the beginning to create in a value after that java just returned the already constructed in values so to explain it i would like to create a class and uh, my class and now I'm going to make an enum as well. My enum. I'm going to define a constant once. Uh, my my enum the default constructor in the default constructor let's make constructing and here 
in the main method I'm creating you know e1 my enum dot once and again my enum a2 equals to my enum dot once so what is happening actually we have created the two references and they are pointing towards a one in a object. Now E1 plus E2. So let's see what is the output. Yes, so you can see that constructing only comes one time when it created an enum object. Once it's created, it just prints out. So, and uh, what would happen if I'm not printing this value? Will it run? Yes, it says constructing. So whenever we run the program and we create the uh, uh, enum object, it will create the constructor once, same like as class, and uh, not every time. Okay. And as you know that I do not put anything over here. Uh, SS modifier, it is private. Uh, enum in switch case statement. So if I, I have a switch case, let's say go to beach. You can see that in the switch case, D is an enum object we can pass. Mm like uh, uh, like a parameter uh, primitive type here in the switch as well and break is Monday is out go back to work and break so, what is in the D? It's a Tuesday. So, case Tuesday is out. I am at work. And let's put the default. you at work. Let's run this class. So 75, 75 and say I'm at work. So Tuesday, this is the one is Tuesday, I'm at work. So it comes here. I'm at work and switch outside. Um, in switch case, uh, you need to be very careful in the exam that uh, if the exam, if you find out if it is day dot Tuesday, something like this. So make sure that it won't go to run and you cannot write the enumeration type dot the constant in the switch case. So it should always be like this. So this is an error. Um, next, as you know that uh, the Tuesday index value is 2. Uh, 
you cannot write it down here too it will also give an error so type required is date you can output integer in the uh, enum type as I have shown you earlier so next is um, yes values are not declared first the code will not compile also if you try to put a public or protected with the constructor code will not compile if you put that enum dot type the switch block code will not compile if you try to extend the enum it will give the compiled error and if you compare the enum with the integer we i have shown you everything with the example uh, please uh, write down your comments and uh, i will upload all of these codes in the github the link is below stay tuned and watch the next video thank you